So on this website you can install different kind of apps on your Flipper Zero. They're all free, easy to install, one click, go ahead and use it right away. Check out your installed app using the Q Flipper software that will interact with your Flipper Zero directly on your computer. This content is for educational purposes only. Please read the four points below before you proceed. If you want to use this knowledge, please be aware only to use it on your own possessions. Do not hack anyone that is illegal and you can go to jail. In this video, we're going to talk about the labflipper.net. Labflipper.net is basically the website where you can go ahead and download the official Flipper Zero applications. Now, I want to bring you on a word of notice right here because the applications that are on this website has already been checked and verified from the normal, you know, bad apps not working and so on and infected with something that can basically damage your Flipper in some ways. So, they are safe to use in the range of whatever safe means to you. All right, so go ahead basically and go to my flipper and you're gonna see something like this on the connect button. <clears throat> connect your flipper to the computer using a USB-C connector and just basically wait a second, you know, it's gonna, it can take a 10 second time or something like that and just press connect. It's gonna wait for the flipper and show up that you have your Flipper Zero connected. You can also update the firmware directly on your Flipper Zero on this website. If you've got custom firmware going on on your Flipper Zero, like I do, the extreme firmware, you're basically not going to use this because it's going to write the normal firmware, which is the version of 0.101.2. You can also choose different kinds of release candidates, the unstable one, or the one that's going to be released very soon. It is in the RC mode. And the current one, the release, is the one that's already picked there for you. Go ahead and click on the install button if you want to install the newest firmware directly from the website. That is one way for you to do it. It is the easiest way if you should ask me. Okay, so go ahead and check out the apps. And you say, well, I want to have something... I want to I want something with NFC. I got some Pico Pass, you know, I want some Cedar, I want... NFC magic. So go ahead and check out the NFC magic. It says an application for writing to NFC tags with modifiable sector zero. Now, <clears throat> please be aware that if you're going to go ahead and write directly to an RFID card, you're going to go ahead and check out cards from, for example, AliExpress that you can modify sector zero. They also in commonly thong called magic cards so go ahead and check out aliexpress and then you can check out the rfid uh it was nfc wasn't it yes so please remember that nfc and then write something like magic card if you, that is what you want to buy and there are different kind of generations the one right there usually does the trick and it says Sector Zero Rewritable, which is exactly the one MF of the MyFair 1K card, which is a very common card you find out in the industry in Denmark, and at least many spaces in Europe use the MyFair 1K cards. And if you want a more wide or broad solution, you should probably go ahead and check out the Proxmark 3, which is going to be the ultimate card reader you can go ahead and buy, but it's quite expensive, more expensive than the actual Flipper Zero itself. So for just some casual testing and so on, the Flipper Zero can do it, but you need these cards with rewritable Sector Zero, also called the Magic Cards. So getting back to the actual application one more time, is you can go ahead and just... Well, you see, this is one install. I can also uninstall it, but if you want to install this app, just click install. Let's, let's go ahead and check out a new app I haven't installed. So let's check out the Bluetooth app. Got the BT trigger, control your smartphone camera via your Flipper Zero, uh, PC monitor, application for monitoring PC resources. Well, I think this one, I do have it, but I need to update it. So you just go ahead and press update. You can see update process, it's quite fast. Nothing will show up on your Flipper while this is actually going on. You see, this is just a dimmed display. Nothing crazy going on. Just go back. You know, you already set now. Just install that app.
that's easy. So we want to see oh, something about the infrared. So we're going to get this X remote, cross remotes and multiple commands. Mm, Metro PC, it's a RC, electric air conditioning, remote control, Xbox controller. Uh, okay, I want uh, I want this Xbox controller so I can turn on and off my Xbox, whatever, you know, some things. So I'm going to install the app, press install in the button and basically we're just doing this. You know, there is a lot of space on your flipper series. These apps are very small. You can see it's 6.9 kilobytes. If you put in, let's say, 16 gigabytes memory card in the flipper series, I'm pretty sure you could install every single app right here and, and you will never ever run out of space. So this is actually one of the, the best, you know, places I would go ahead and check out. Tools, for example, you need to, uh, <laughs> the brain fog language, you can go ahead and insert the brain fog language, it's actually a, in a programming language, if you should find that funky, go ahead and check it out, it's quite not nasty, I would never touch it with my life. I also install, install stuff like password generators, hex editors, RFID detectors and so on, so many different apps you can go ahead and install on this one page, which is a lifetime, it is a live leech for you, I really think you go ahead and check it out. The Best thing is also on the sub gigahertz with the station sub gigahertz remote spectrum analyzer. It's very interesting to go ahead and analyze the spectrum. Displays a spectrogram chart to visually represent the RF signals around you. That is quite interesting. Of course, these images does not really cut it when it comes to the actual analysis, but you can see what's going on. And from that, you can get an idea of, well, maybe I should try and read some of the signals with the Flipper Zero on one of the other apps in the sub gigahertz and do a raw read and see what you can actually catch. But depending on the frequency, you should probably check out what kind of frequency it is on. So go ahead and moderate your signal modulator in your Flipper Zero in order to receive the best possibility signal for the right megahertz frequency. All right, so there are also other things here on the website. You can go ahead and see paint, for example. So if you think that is funny, you can go ahead and paint and you can write stuff like flipper. There we go, okay. Also go ahead and check out the NFC tools like give me the keys, manual attack. Yeah, you know, there are some tools on the website and, and you can go ahead and, and try and and brute force, you can go ahead and say, like, run the attack, you get the key, and so on. Also, it's a sly here, command line interface, which basically going to intercept you to uh, run commands directly on the flipper zero. I'm not really sure how to do that. I never did it. So we got different commands here. You can see and check that out. You know, if that is one, something you would like to check out, then go ahead and do that. On the files, you can go ahead and check out the files here on the XD card. And let's just go back one more time. It's going to take a while. So basically, it's also the thing I want to talk about in this video is, is go ahead and check it out. You know, it's a free website. The apps are free. It is really easy for you to install the apps you need. And basically, it's going to be a safe way for you to update your Flipper Zero. Please be aware that if you want to update your firmware to newest version, there is a certain chance that you're going to uninstall some of the apps you already installed. And basically that's it. So if you like the video, please go ahead and comment below. Give the video a thumbs up, you know, like the video, subscribe to my channel. And I really hope to see you down there in the comments. I will do my best to reply to as many of you as I can. And I want to say thank you one more time for watching this video. You're doing everything you can do to help me on the journey towards to creating good content for you guys about the newest hacking gadgets and devices out there. And I'm going to do more stuff on the Flipper Zero. See you out there. Have a really nice day and use the Flipper Zero for something fun. Okay.